third or fourth would be glycemic control, blood sugar control. Sugar is the root of all evil. The Bible should say sugar is the root of all evil, not the love of money, right? Because I don't think people are dying because they love money, but they are dying from blood sugar. And in my entire- Is it just that they're overeating? Sugar makes them overeat and that's the problem? No. Or sugar itself, even in small quantities, is going to be problematic? It's the fact that sugar is hidden in everything now. You know, our, our sugar consumption since 1964 has gone up 400 fold, That's not, not, not 400, you know, it's gone up it, it, because it's in everything. And then we had a massive war in the nineties on, on, on fat, which was like the worst thing to ever happen to the food pyramid was to have this massive war on fats in general and saturated fats and, and, you know, natural oils. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we started to replace everything with processed foods and sugars, which really spike your insulin. And, you know, we know now, for example, that a lot of mental and psychiatric illness has its root in blood sugar. For example, you know, we know now that Alzheimer's disease is type 3 diabetes. It's insulin resistance in the brain, right? I mean, the brain is so crack addicted to sugar that it secretes its own insulin, right? Most, most even, even physicians think, no, the pancreas is the only place that beta cells, the islets in the pancreas is the only place that insulin's made. That's not true. The brain makes its own insulin. It is crack addicted to sugar. And when the brain wants sugar, the brain gets sugar, right? The brain's nasty. It's like a little Kim Jong-un of dictators. It just sits up there and it takes everything for itself. If it wants calcium, it'll leach it from the bones. If it wants amino acids, it'll strip it from lean muscle. And if it wants sugar, it'll activate a receptor on the back of the tongue called the RF1A2 receptor, which also provides a dopamine ding for giving it sugar. Mm. But the trick is you have to swallow, right? So in order we we swallow these sweet products and it gives us a dopamine reward. In fact, if you look at the genesis of most artificial sweeteners, only a fraction of the chemical sweetener is actually designed to meet the taste of the sweetener. The entirety of the rest of those chemicals are designed to ding their dopamine receptor. Whoa. Which is why artificial sweeteners are so addictive. It's why you know people that drink 12, I'm not saying you know, but most of us know somebody that'll drink like six, eight, 10, you know, Diet Cokes in a day. Right.